Um, are we chopping and channeling? Chopping, channeling, <laughs> and stretching? <laughs> we got just this. Like, it'll be like that. So Chris and I just got up to the shop. Uh, I haven't really filmed a lot this week because I've had finals and stuff and I still have finals to do this week, but figured we'd come up here, have a free day. We are going to work on some of the plans for the cage. And then we have some other stuff to do later, right? Like uh, building a workbench for your garage. Yeah, yeah, we need a place to put our drinks and our food when we're playing the sim. Yeah. What are you doing? Cap on the song. So do you want to explain what all the measurements that you have to take are to put into Bentec to build a cage? Yes, yeah, so there's a lot of measurements. The one I'm taking now, I believe, is length one, which is the distance between your main hoop and where your windshield bars hit the frame. So there's length one, it's about 44. Length two is actually from the same spot to the windshield frame, which I already measured at 16 inches. And they have templates, so we're gonna start with a template. If you don't like it, we'll just take all the measurements and pop them into a different template. Yeah, nice. Pretty easy, yeah. There's just some basic measurements. We already measured the hoop, measured this leg, measured that width, measured the height from here down to basically the fake floor. Um, yeah, yeah, making moves. I think that uh, for right now, the plan is to do the main hoop and then the dash bar will be welded in. It'll be kind of like a, so in pro mods, like uh, all the pro mod cars that, you know, people race in NHRA, everything connects to the dash bar. And so I was going to do the dash bar, you know, have it all welded in, main hoop, and have the A pillar bars go from here down and connect. And then from the dash bar down is where they'll connect to the chassis. Everything will connect to the dash bar besides the main hoop, obviously. But uh, yeah, so it'll be like the central point. Like we can make end caps for the cage. We can do landing pads. We could do beadlock rings if you decided to off-road it. But like suspension tabs. Those will come in handy. All completely customizable and then we just find a local laser or plasma shop and have them cut um, mounts for things gussets saddle gussets like tacos we can have those made we can have them pre-cut out of flat steel and then bend them into place that's awesome We took all the measurements and Chris uploaded them into Bentec and now he's just going through saying what size die it is, what model bender, which the bender that I'll be using is a JD squared model 32. It's my dad's. It's actually never been used. We built the stand last year or two years ago now for it and we just never used it. So it should be cool to, you know, use on this. And I just saw that the first look at the cage is now in. This is what your cage looks like if you forget to do any of the height measurements and you take it at what was in there. Um, are we chopping and channeling? Chopping, channeling, <laughs> and stretching? <laughs> we got Just this. Like, it'll be like that. All right, so on that note, we have 10 more measurements to take. Sweet. All right, let's do this. So these are all the files for all the bends. The yep. different pieces. Shows you all the legs and the bends. Um, That's crazy. Gives you all of the lengths, where to bend it at, what angle. Yep, and because we know the settings of the bender, we know how much spring back there is for a given material, or we will. Um, really, the next, the next thing is we need to take and we need to hand bend a piece of one and five ace 120 wall, whatever material you're gonna buy. Cause you basically, you put it in there, you bend it to 90 exactly on the bender. You let it go, you see how far it springs back. That'll give you all of the, like the relationship of like the bend to what you actually get out of it. 
and it interpolates that if, it, if at 90 you've got seven degrees of spring back, it knows that at different angles you're gonna have a, a percentage less than that. The software does all that for you. That's crazy. But I mean like exciting stuff, like here's your uh, main hoop. So we got everything drawn up in Bentec and now we have to uh, cut it short here and head to Lowe's. We're going to build a cool bench or table or something for Chris's garage so that when we're over playing on the sim and stuff, we have a place to put laptops, uh, food, drinks, whatever. So we're gonna go do that. We're grabbing some wood. Need to get some plywood and then some two by fours. We should be good. I even have the bit to like pre-drill these two. These are premium too. Like all those girls from Snapchat stories. Premium content. Premium. So here was the thought on these. They fit up in here just like that. And they screw into another board here. And that board is also screwed into the wall. And you got a stew going, baby. <laughs> you got a stew going, baby. Oh, hang on. If so anybody can name where that's from, comment it down below. Well, here it is. As you can tell, everything worked out and it is sturdy. I think we did a good enough job. Yeah, yeah. It's good enough for who it's for. And I don't want to hear a damn thing about how badly it's built. Yeah. I'm not a carpenter. But. The best part? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Boom. Like, I don't know. So I just got up to Dussold's. Um, I had to come and talk to him for a little bit about some video stuff that he wants me to do and just thought I'd show you guys some of the cool projects that are here right now. So, of course, you got the Camaro. Sadly, it was wrecked at Pikes Peak, but as you can tell, they're rebuilding the front end. I'm not really sure what this all is, but some really cool looking Bronco. An amazing paint scheme on this square body. Just the work is so nice. And then this really cool second gen that has an LT5 in it. I guess it's getting a lot of carbon fiber stuff. Should be really cool. What are you doing? So what's all done to this thing? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you don't work here, huh? <laughs> all I did was the alignment. Huh? This thing's pretty cool. I'm not a big fan of Mopars, but I like this thing. I like how it's just black. I see it has wheel woods. It's nice. I mean, it's, it's a little dirty, but the interior is pretty cool. That thing actually does sound really good. I like it. I like it a lot. It's got a faux pony, fuel injected, five speed. Five speed. What are you doing? <laughs> You're running down all of his batteries? Yeah, eye for an eye. What did he do to you? It doesn't matter. You with me. I'm a f with you. All right. That's messed up.
Yes. Yes, it is. Why would you do that? That'd be rude. Why are you guys too much shit? Why are you guys too much shit? Why are you guys too much shit? You're in trouble. That's some Joey shit right there. We shared. Really? Automatically. Guys? Always picking on the fat kid. Well, today's been an interesting day. We've done a lot of different things from working on the cage of the love truck to building that bench uh, or that desk at Chris's to now hanging out at Dussold. But I gotta head home, do some calculus homework, eat dinner. So, yeah. But, uh,. Sure, there will be a couple more videos this week. I'm not sure. Like I said, I have finals, so I still have to study and do those. But there's a lot of cool things coming up that I'm excited to share with you guys. So stay tuned for that.